Hi! I am here to do a book, a witch book collection, and um, um, I have quite a few books. It might be in like two um, parts, so I hope I won't take too long with this, but um, I'm going to try to go, sorry, I'm going to try to go like fast. Okay, so, um, sorry, so much stuff on my bed. Okay, all right. Alright, so the first one is a tarot um, card um, book. It's the Ultimate Guide to the Rider Weight Tarot. And I have the tarot, uh, tarot deck for this. And I really like that it has um, all the cards that are in the deck. There are 86 of them. And it tells you exactly what they mean. Because um, I'm just a beginner at this, so I really need all the help that I can. Um, but I'm really enjoying it, so as you can see, um, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Another tarot one is the Kitchen Table Tarot, and this one's pretty cute has a cute little pinup style girl holding tarot cards. Let's pull up a chair, shuffle the cards, and let's talk tarot. And this is by Melissa Kunova. Kynova? Sinova? I'm butchering the name. I'm sorry. Um, but this one I just got like four days ago, so I haven't like gone through it. But it has like all the like pictures of the cards and um, you know the pentacles and the swords and whatnot and the empress and the hermit and the hangman and you know uh, basically what's in every tarot deck and what they mean and um, I mean I'm just hoping um, that it serves a purpose in my little library <laughs> Um, so yeah, so how are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I haven't been online in so long. It's been years. Shit. Okay, anyway, so this one is by Patrick Dunn. It's the practical art of the divine magic. So it's, it's about deities and divine, um, uh, and about, and about the divine. What? My dog, he's just like growling for no reason. Anyway, um, as I, oh, I was, as I was doing my, um, I was doing, like, doing papers for my, uh, Book of Shadows. And my cat was all over this thing because I, I think I kind of ruined it a little bit with, with the, um, well, I actually put a little um, crystal quartz on the bottom in one of these right here. And then some of the pages, like on the outside right here. Um, I stained with coffee and like a um, sponge and then I don't know how it looks I don't know if I like it or not and this is just a temporary one but this is like some of the pages I wanted it to look old I might have to like burn some of the edges but I didn't do all of the pages just because um, it would have gotten really messy and sticky and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's my book of shadows for now. Just like a temporary one. Anyway, so to the divine practical um, art of divine magic, it has, you know, offerings that you can do like during your spells um, to your deities. Um, it gives you exercises in like step one to like step three 
and what you can reflect on and stuff like that and um, divination by letter um, diamondology not demonology diamondology um, what is going on sorry um, so yeah it, it, I mean it should be a pretty good book I can't wait to read this one and I'm happy to, sorry, I'm sitting too good here. Okay, that's so much better. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. Okay. And then I have by Sky Alexander, um, the Modern Witchcraft Grimoire. Um, your complete guide to creating your own book of shadows, which is what I'm doing. And this helped me out so much. Um, this book helped me out a lot because um, it helped me start it. It's, uh, it says how to consecrate your grimoire, how to, it just, it doesn't have any like, uh, it has, it has like charts and tables and whatnot but it doesn't have like nice pictures for you to look at or anything like that so if you're looking for that it's not in here it's not in any of the sky alexander books or not in the ones that i have so this is the Grim grimoire um i got scott C cunningham uh wicca um a guide for the solitary practitioner by Scott Cunningham. He's a genius. Um, so I am not a Wiccan. I don't think I I'm still look I'm still searching for my religion really. Mm, but it's not it's not Wicca. It maybe pagan but not Wicca. I'm still researching paganism so that one seems more like me than Wicca, so, yeah, I know, um, I am wearing a cross, um, I wear it all the time because it's so gorgeous, I love this, it's granite, and it protects me all the time, so, um, yeah, this, this this is just a great book to have, and anybody who doesn't have this book should own it. Even if you're not Wiccan, this has a lot of, like, detail. It's very, very informative. It has invocations to the goddess, to um, Isis invocation, prayer to the horned god, New Moon Chant to Diana, Call to the God. Um, I mean, it has just so many things. Um, it has energy raising, ritual observance, purifications of space, purifications of self. Like, it just has so much. And I think everybody ha should have this book. Because Scott Cunningham knows exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> And, um, I, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Okay, then I have the Crystal Bible, which a lot of people, like, I, th I think they have the Crystal Bible. I need part two to this, so if anyone knows where I could get one for, like, a dollar, or if they're selling theirs for, like, I don't know, like a dollar or two, and just, I don't know, contact me in the down bar below or something in the comment section I mean but yeah this this is a really good read um, if you're into crystals um, it has every crystal well not every crystal I don't know it has most crystals and what their color are what the appearance is the rarity the source the attributes um, it tells you uh, crystal cleansing how to cleanse them um, meditation with the crystals and stuff like that. So, mm, that's that. Um, 
then we have Witchcraft, um, a handbook of magic spells and potions by Anastasia 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 Grey Wolf. This is such a pretty book. Like I just love the way that they made this book. It's so beautiful. And inside is just look at these pictures look at these these are amazing like look oh, so so pretty <laughs> um like oh my god so pretty and my favorite color purple and okay so this has like weird 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 like I wouldn't I wouldn't do any of these witchcraft spells because they kind of seem kind of way out there like where are you gonna get a frog to look a frog where are you gonna get um an owl's egg where like these are kind of ridiculous but it's fun to read it is a fun read it's fun to have this book it's fun to read it but then um towards the back it has you know some spells that are like decent um some of them are just ridiculous <laughs> but the art is just amazing in this book so i mean it's good it's so yeah it, it, in the back it says banish headaches keep your home safe Envision your future spouse, <laughs> win riches, communicate with animals, conceive a child, summon the dead, make it snow, separate lovers, um, know your future, make someone fall in love, dream extraordinary dreams, see in the dark, drive away beasts, cause a lost love to return, read minds. Okay, um, delay death, make a foe suffer, become invisible, and much, much more. So, fun read, but kind of ridiculous. Then we have, also by Sky Ale Alexander, like the grimoire that I had, um, the modern guide to witchcraft, your complete guide to witches, covens, and spells. And... This one also very, very helpful for just anything, it, you know, witchcraft in the New World, uh, witchcraft in Salem, so it has a little bit of history um, that you can read up on, angelic connections, um, sylphs, salamanders, unidines. deities like just creating a circle just everything everything okay so i'm gonna have to make a part two to this so um just make sure to watch part two i hope you i hope to see you in part two so um yeah <laughs> this isn't a goodbye